PDF in front of you, please go to page 14. We are going to do questions 57 through uh, 55 through 57. And right now we have a hypothetical. Um, if you want to read along, please do. Barney owned a hardware store in New York, wishing to move to a warmer climate. He entered into a written contract to buy Samson's hardware store in Florida. The contract stated that Barney would buy Samson's store for 125000 provided Barney finds a purchaser who will buy his present business for 100000 cash. Samson rents the building in which the store is located under a lease with one more year to run. Now assume that Samson repudiated the contract soon after signing it and before Barney had made any effort to find a buyer for his present business. Barney sued Samson for breach of contract and Samson defended on the ground that his promise to sell was unsupported by consideration. Will this defense succeed? Answer choices are A, yes, because Barney's promise to buy was a subject was subject to a condition within Barney's complete control and was therefore illusory. Or B, yes, because Barney's promise to buy was still executory. C, no, because the court will interpret the condition of Barney's promise as requiring Barney to make a good faith effort to find a buyer for his present business. Or D, no, because Barney's a promise to sell his present business was consideration for Samson's promise to sell his business to Barney. Now, you may pause it if you want to look over the answers and the fact pattern, but I'm going to tell you the answer now, so uh, do not uh, pause it if you don't want to hear it. The answer is C. No, because the court will interpret the condition of Barney's promise as requiring Barney to make a good faith effort to find a buyer for his present business. Now, this is um, this is in a section. Uh, if you want to go over promises and conditions. Now, a promise is conditioned on the occurrence of an event that is within uh, the c control of one party. Now, um, most courts are going to apply an obligation. So, if you want to go look in the section on conditions and promises, I did a little snippet on that, if you want more elaboration. Okay, thanks.